Now it would be much better if we had a D's on the bus, don't you think? Yeah. I'm a third generation uh, San Franciscan, so that means my grandmother complained about Muni. Carajo! La camioneta está retrasada! Which means, fuck, Muni's delayed again. So my story has to do with, uh, I'm coming home, uh, it was actually on the night that I was uh, reporting, because uh, I'm a traffic reporter, but I also do general assignment news, which means that they send me out to do stories. A lot of them are about Muni, because, oh, a traffic reporter, he can do Muni. So I know the Muni people, uh, I know the directors, you know, I end up getting to interview them and ask them questions. Sometimes I feel like an asshole for asking the questions, but I do anyway. <laughs> You're not doing a good job, Nat Ford. He's gone, by the way. So. Anyway, I'm, I'm coming home, I'm dressed in my suit, on the 44 O'Shaughnessy, and I take it at uh, Glen Park. So I get on the bus, and it's really crowded, all kinds of people. Guys in suits, guys who are going to the hood, little old ladies, whatever, everyone's there. It gets really crowded, and people are standing, you know, uh, on the other side of the yellow line, which you can't, you know, you can't help it. And the, uh, the bus driver just, man, he's looking like he's losing his shit, man. He's really upset, very upset. And finally, he, we're, we're coming around the turn, and uh, he kind of makes the turn really hard, and one of these old ladies, they get up, and she kind of comes over the yellow line, and that's when he really loses it. And this lady didn't understand a lot of English, so he's like yelling at her, blah, blah, blah. And uh, finally, I just had enough, I said, Hey, you know, she didn't do it on purpose. You know, back off. And then he gets up. <laughs> he gets up and he's all... He lifts that little bar, you know, where they... <laughs> he comes over and I thought, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm not small. This guy's about this big. Right? So he's like, he's going to come up and he's going to hit me. And I'm thinking, okay. People know me, you know, I'm going to deflate the situation. And I did. I said, you know, I stepped back and said, hey, you know, what's cool? But you know what I wanted to do? <laughs> motherfucker, you want some of this? <laughs> it's on, motherfucker. <laughs> now, I was going to beat his ass. But, of course, I'm a news reporter, and that would be all over the news. And you know that any arrest report would have been on the news and, you know, so we, we settled it down, I got his number, I wrote a, a letter like the last lady, like you did. And, uh, but I feel a little cheated, no one ever called me in the beauty court. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and then uh, since I take the 44 O'Shaughnessy, every once in a while I would see him, right? And I, you know, I would just go up and he would avoid me. Like, yeah. So, nothing ever happened and uh, I didn't, I never, I'm also in the same spot that you are. I never want to get these people who do this job in trouble, really. Just because he threatened to hit me, he didn't hit me. I had my little, um, I'm a badass moment in my head, and that was all good. So, I still take Muni, I love Muni. Um, I, the other day I was up at the uh, tunnel when some guy drove into the tunnel. <laughs> so, you know, I just did live shots for the five and the six, and um, talking to these guys, and. The meeting workers thought it was all a lot of fun. This guy apparently, he got, uh, he's from Sebastopol. He got really drunk and he drove his car about a mile and a half into the tunnel. What time of day? This was like, this was 6 a.m. So this tool was drunk at six and drove his car into the tunnel. And the last part of my story is, so, um, you know, I'm doing the traffic and I, I took over the story at about noon. Our morning reporter, Claudine Wong, was standing out there and she and her photographer got video of some other guy who made the right turn into that DeBose tunnel was just about to do the same thing. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, so when I got out there, I started interviewing people who live in that little complex, and they said, oh yeah, this happens all the time, I'm surprised. Says, and this one guy says, it's gonna happen again. I said, I'll see you then. <laughs> Thank you.